Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. It's the Furthering Fathering Radio Show. The, the, the brothers are back in the building. Brother J in NYC and Brother L in the ATL. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five. Four, three, two, one. You ready? L- l- let's get the conversation started. I emphasize that if anyone is listening to this as a replay or listening to it live, connect with further and fathering. You will be encouraged. You will be edified. The 20, 30 minutes that we're on the radio chopping it up is nothing compared to the energy and the strength you will receive from men who love you just because you're a man. And then as they get to know you, they speak life to you, they challenge you, they affirm you, and they enable you to be powerful where you're needed, which is with your family. Brother Derek, you're saying hello. It's not only a, it's not only a good for the child, but I think it's a mandate from God. Um, I think the heart of the Father belongs to men, and God has called us to be that for as many children as we can. So I don't echo everything you said. I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board with that, and I think um, the call is for more men to embrace that truth so that we can begin to rebuild our community, our nation, one family at a time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Furthering Fathering radio show. I am your host, your co-host here in New York. There are a lot of fatherhood exercises and uh, uh, leadership things going on down in the ACL, so my best friend will not be on. He's conducting uh, courses even right now. Oh, man, excited to be alive. Just coming off an incredible uh, Thanksgiving uh, weekend um, and really, really thankful. And you remember when we talked about praise, praise should begin your prayer and pray, praise should end your prayer. But if, if you recognize life is a prayer, uh, uh, we move from glory to glory. Each glory we, we praise, but in between time, in the meantime, we spend time praying and um with that said, you know, we always go to our Heavenly Father, uh, uh, and, and as we shift from praise to prayer and then back to praise again, we want to go to James 5, verses 13 and 16. I'm going to read it twice, once in the King James Version and then in the Amplified Version, and it reads as follows, is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, They shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults to one another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And now the Amplified. Is any among you suffering? He must. Pray. Is anyone joyful? He is to sing praises to God. Is any among you sick? He must call for the elders, the spiritual leaders of the church, and they are to pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will restore the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has Committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess 
your sins one to another, your false steps, your offenses, and pray for one another that you may be healed and restored. The heartfelt and persistent prayer of a righteous man, of a believer, can accomplish much when put into action and made effective by God. It is a dynamic it is dynamic and can have tremendous power. Heavenly Father, thank you for the open airwaves. Thank you, Lord, for when Christ was crucified, the veil of the temple was rent from top to bottom, showing that it was not man that created availability. It is the blood of Christ. And it is the open pathway of access that you have provided that we no longer have to do secondary and tertiary things where we bring things to someone else to bring to you. There is no relay race of righteousness instead of passing a baton to a man to pass to you. We can run fervently. We can seek you diligently, we may approach you boldly on the, at your throne of grace to find mercy and grace in our time of trouble. We thank you, Lord, for that availability. Help us as fathers who uh, sometimes lack the vocabulary, breaths and words. Help us to find the words to bring them to you. Help us to act as intercessors for our wives and for our children and for our community and for our country and for our world, for those who ail, for those who hurt. Help us to be that righteous man that availeth much. Yes, the powerful, persistent prayer prevails and avails plenty. We thank you in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Well, this is Giving Tuesday. This is Giving Tuesday and furthering, fathering a, a 501c3, which has been in existence even before officially being made uh, a, a, an official company on March 4th. And you hear that, that, that date. It sounds like an order. March 4th, 2013. But we had been existing and operating, doing the work of fatherhood even prior to that, as we met with Joe Coleman and, and, and Colin uh, Pickney, uh, 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 who were doing a thing called Amazing Love down in, 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 in North Carolina, and we'd have meetings, and, 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 and we as men and dads would talk about things like lust and, 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 and our struggles and poverty and, and, and fatherlessness and so many things. And what, what always was most poignant even back in those times in 2011 and 2012 was the prayers, the prayers that, 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 that uh, permeated the air, the, the prayers that broke down walls and barriers but that, that acted as fuel to, 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 to burn a fire inside of each one of us to recognize our value and the value of the work you've called us to do. So we, we recognize the power of prayer. We recognize that uh, uh, it's important that even on this radio show that, that we had initially designed to be outside of the church walls, that, but, but it was so important that we begin and end in prayer, that we, that we start and we finish honoring the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the, 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 the author and the finisher. So it's important. Prayer is vital, especially now. Um, you look at what's going on in the world. The, 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 up north here in the northern hemisphere, um, the climate is changing. The climate is changing spiritually. The climate is changing politically. The climate is changing economically. The, ch the climate is uh, changing medically. The climate is changing physically. And with all this climate change um, is important that we have access to the one whose hand is on the thermometer, the one who, who sets the temperature. No matter what temperature is set, he's always 
available. He's not he he's given us stewardship or responsibility. So we are the superintendents and he is the owner, but he sets the temperature. Help us, Lord, to stoke the fires of love, to pour the coals of joy, to 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 seek the the, the uh, and and press the embers of and the fire of prosperity and and joy. Bless us, Lord, to do well in all that we do. Um, This is Giving Tuesday, and we pray that there is uh, the possibility, and you are thinking about someone to bless, that you would uh, consider Furthering Fathering, that you would go to www.furtheringfathering.org, and you would uh, go into our donate, uh, uh, hit our donate button, and, and if, you, if it's if it's if it's not too much, if it's if it's a possibility that you um, uh, donate whatever it is, any amount will do. Uh, every bit of proceeds goes to blessing fathers and families, and and we, we we're so ever grateful and thankful. Um, so with that said, and um, looking forward to. 2021, but we're still in the midst of 2020, the, the, the year of clarity, where we've been put in positions in place to see the hand that has been dealt to us, see the hand of those who are trying to control us, see the hand of our situation, but most of all, most of all, that we see the hand of God. I mean, all our seeing, there are choices in how we see. Uh, uh, we can walk by sight and live in the woe is me. And all we can walk by faith and live in the wow is God. And he's amazing no matter what time it is, what's going on. He is good. All the time and all the time, he is indeed good. So it, uh, it's important that as we lay the groundwork of, uh, of, of prayer, we have to recognize that prayer, praise, leads into the, the natural progression of praise leads into prayer. The, uh, 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 and, and prayer is our communication. Our, 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 in our temporal sense, it's our temporal uh, uh, in nature reaching to our eternal God and our eternal God constantly answering. He's always answered. That's how eternity works. Eternity is always. So he is answered before the foundation of the world, but he's answered before time was created. And his answer has always been is just for us to grow into receiving in preparation of the manifestation of the answer. So we thank you, Lord, for uh, the, 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 the open access that you've given us so that we can uh, bend your ear, we can whisper to your heart, we can cry our tears, uh, 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 and we can express our concerns and our fears, we can rejoice in you, we can show you love, he who is love. In other words, even our prayer will, will be reflective of who you are. Uh, I, I, I spent a lot of time looking up uh, prayer, and, and, and of course there, there's the, 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 the prayer that we call the Lord's Prayer, but uh, ultimately uh, really deeply because Christ was teaching us to pray, it's really the disciples' prayer. Uh, uh, we don't call it the disciples' prayer. We call it the Lord's Prayer. But, but ultimately, if you, if you get a chance to look in, the, in Hebrews 11 and uh, 1, through, uh, 1 through 8, I believe, or uh, some, 1 through 8 or 1 through 10, I'm, I'm uh, a little foggy on that, but it's Hebrews 11, uh, not Hebrews 11, Luke 11, uh, Luke 11, uh, 1 through, yeah, 1 through Eight or ten, and it's it, it speaks of the, the disciples asking Christ how to pray because they saw him getting answers. As a matter of fact, um, they they were you know they were uh, 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 really curious as to how he was so effective uh, and and why his prayers 
were being answered. They didn't recognize, well, some of them didn't recognize, but they didn't recognize that every time they spoke to him, they were talking to God. So they indeed were praying even in their asking. And uh, it, it caused me to recognize that prayer uh, um, it, it is similar to praise in, the, uh, in that it is complimenting God and it is complimenting God, but moreover, it is what it causes us to change because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And uh, it causes us to change. It's part of our maturation. So the more we seek him, it's like uh, 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 seeking a reference. Uh, it's part of our studying to show ourselves approved. It is about uh, uh, um, the growing of Christ in us. And what happens is as we pray, um, our prayer, uh, which is a spiritual thing, is lifted up to our Father, and it is, and, and it is uh, received. And once received, it is answered in three basic, three basic ways. Either there's yes, an immediate manifestation, there's no, uh, there's a rejection or no to the prayer, or there is a later or a, a in the future. In other words, you have to be prepped for the yes. It's an eventual yes, but not right now. So it's yes, no, and not yet. Yes, no, and not yet. So uh, pr- prayer uh, uh, um, you know, as we spend a little time talking about praise, and and as we enter into these new seasons, these new challenges, uh, these uh, uh, our communication with God has become vital, and and consistent prayer changes things. It changes us as we mature, as things change. And there are several ways to pr- ways to pray. Um, you, you, it, 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 there are there are physical postures that that uh that that speak to uh, uh prayer but uh you there is no designated posture you can be on your knees you can be sprawled out prostrate you could be driving your car you could be sitting uh, uh, uh you could be taking your shower you could be uh uh, uh uh do at work in your in your cubicle if you're if you're still at work and if and we want to give a shout out to all the essential workers who are out working and you you could be uh, uh, in the supermarket, you could be anywhere, any place, at any time, kind of like God is, because he's there, and you can reach out, because as it says in Acts 17, that he is not far from any one of us, that we can reach out and uh, talk to him, and listen to him, and, and commune with him, and converse with him. And there are four basic uh, aspects of prayer and um, the, the, some of the theologians and the Bible uh, 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 teachers have come up with an acronym called ACTS, A-C-T-S. And it's the four parts, basic elements of Christian prayer. And uh, A stands for adoration, uh, as, as you see, ACTS, A-C-T-S, A stands for adoration. It's about you adoring God. It's about you blessing God. It's about you uh, 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 um, loving God in return. It's a recognition of who he is and loving him for who he is. And then there's C, there's contrition. Contrition is repentance. It's recognizing uh, who he is but it's also recognizing who we are, that is, as it says in uh, uh, Romans 3.23, that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so we're always in uh, a need of prayer, but we also have to recognize our fallen nature and approach him realistically, because if you want to be practical in prayer, you have to recognize who he is and recognize who we are. And, and uh, recognize that his thoughts, as it says in Isaiah 55, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts and his ways are higher than our ways. 
The next after adoration and contrition is thanksgiving, and we we are we are uh, uh, though we are leaving the northeastern American uh, uh, understanding of the holiday of thanksgiving, but if you're a believer, you're to be living your thanks. I'm acquiring something that uh, uh, Dr. Anario Chaparro once said. He said to me, yeah, it's thanks living. And, and yeah, thanks living. And I love that, that term, thanks living. Really, really supposed to be living our thanks. So our prayer uh, is thanking God for life and all that comes with the abundance of life. And then then uh, S is supplication. Uh, it's making petition for those who are praying. So I'm going to open up the lines. I have I have my brother. I know my, bro- my brother Guy is with me. Um, and uh, as I go to my brother Guy, uh, um, love you, my brother. Um, we, we're going to talk about love father, you too, my fatherhood. Brother. And I'm always praying for you and Jeb and, and, and the family. And, you know, I pray for my, 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 my further and father and brothers in general, but I pray for you, my brother. And uh, you know I love you. So, Same here. Um, Same here. The, the importance of prayer, man, the importance of prayer, especially when it comes from a father. And, and, and I'm glad you jumped on because I need to see you jumped on. <laughs> and so I, I finished that part. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I definitely believe in the power of prayer, brother. So go right ahead. Yeah, man. Um, so, so um, we always hear about. Yes, I had a praying mother, or I had, a, and I had all that. I had, I had two praying, praying grandmothers. I had two praying grandfathers. I, yeah. I, um, um, and I had a praying mother. My father is not the type to pull you to the side and pray, but but um, he prays. But but he's not the type right. to to pray with you, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, he'll pray for you, but he won't. He might not pray with you, you know what I mean? But right. um, gotcha. It's important. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Cause, no, I was go ahead because uh, because it, it it's uh it sounds reasonable, I, and I understand it. I understand that wholeheartedly also, you know. So yeah. I'm the type that you know I will pray for you and I will pray with you, but I you know saying I my prayer, you know this this. In, in prayer, because again, I believe in the power of prayer, and yes. I also believe in how the unity of prayer. So collectively, when you're praying for that strength, or you're praying for that ongoing, or you are you praying for someone's well-being, I truly, you know, I truly believe in that, and I truly believe yes. it works. I, I I think we have evidence that prayer does work. For me, prayer oh, is yeah. a prelude to a plan also. Not the plan, but a prelude to the plan. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. God's going to give us that, that hindsight. He's going to give, you know, that eye opening, you know, because we, you know, when we when we pray, we, we, we pray in, in, in four facets mainly. You know, when people pray, we pray in four facets mainly. You know, we, we pray for uh, glorification. We, we pray for yeah. clarification. Redemption yes. and action, and action. So that's I mean you know, yes. those four facets is usually how we we truly you know what I'm saying. So yes. there's a power in that, and there's an energy in yes. that. So you know as, as we receive it, you know because it's it's it, it's it's that what you know God has you know set forth you know reasoning why we pray. So it, you know yes. it's it's those who believe in it, it works for them. Those who don't, they yeah. may not because they don't. You know, because that's the that's the power of it. So those who believe yeah. in it, it works for you know. Saying and and it's just as simple as that. You know, saying the power of prayer. Do you speaking of Thanksgiving and thanks? You know, uh, 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 how did you call it? You didn't call it Thanksgiving. What did you call it? Thanks living. Living. Yeah, yeah, thanks living. I love that. I got to use that now, brother. So you always have something <laughs> new for me, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because I love that. Because you know, I I have some guilt around Thanksgiving. And I, I'm gonna yes. tell you why. Thanksgiving, as it's celebrated nationally, is supposed to be this whole story that we were told on this Pilgrims, uh, Native American Indian thing, and we know that story is not to be true. I mean, all the evidence yes. proved that there's no factor to that, and there was only there were only slaughter in 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 in. in religion, you know what I'm saying, on it's the famous. natives here. So it's say yeah. right. So we know there wasn't no real thanksgiving going on. You know what I'm saying? But at the same yeah. time, the, the the real Thanksgiving actually come from we as Africans it's African Americans. 
you know what I'm saying, the natives of Africa being here in America, as you call us, Moors or whatever, we're the ones that actually brought Thanksgiving to the forefront because we would actually um, come together and also we came together, you know what I'm saying, in, in creating family reunions and so because we were torn apart. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it came so it became a family type of get together thing and I think that's how we as black people in America celebrate it in the sense of we don't look at it from that whole pilgrim uh Plymouth Rock thing. We look at it as our family being reunited and 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 coming together as one. And that's again the power of prayer. You know what I'm saying? So it yeah. all ties in. You know what I'm saying? So it brings yeah. us right back to that. So I lock into that because as a as a young person and as a child all my memories of Thanksgiving in my family are very good. So growing up, yeah. I have very good memories of Thanksgiving, and I come from a very dysfunctional family. So my family was chaotic and dysfunctional. But the one time of the year that my family <laughs> act civilized was at Thanksgiving. <laughs> so that's that's my so that's my memory. And I always try to want to replica that, even though a lot of times, you know, it, it you know I I myself may not you know, been the best person at Thanksgiving, my dog on stuff, especially after my mom passed away. But, you know, saying I got to do better. I got to do better. But at the same time, my memory of Thanksgiving was always a family pleasant, family warmness, and family um, unity. Yes. Yes. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Um, You know, we only have four minutes left, and uh, we'll be on tomorrow on the on the – uh, and I hope you can. I hope you can be on. Um, we're going to be talking. I'm going to try to make it tomorrow. Movement. Okay. Awesome. 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 Um, we're going to be talking about prayer even more in depth. But there's one singular word that I, I've been chewing on this because I've been ministering this to my 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 family for the last two weeks. Two weeks because we last week we went into what we call the disciples' prayer, the Lord's Prayer. And then this, week, this last Sunday we went into the real Lord's Prayer, which is John 17. John 17 mm-hmm. is the real Lord's Prayer, the, when Jesus is really praying for us. Um, but the word betterment, the word better, mm-hmm. every time you pray to God, there is that desire for something to be better. Better. If it's exactly. Regarding sickness, you want that to be better. If it's regarding wealth, mm-hmm. you want that to be better. If it's, if you're yes. making intercession for someone else, you want them to be better. You want a situation exactly. to be better. When you make petition, it's about collecting a, a political petition. Is you collect names and, and that agree with a cause, and then you take that cause to a higher power so that something is done about it. Well. Well, when we pray yes. in, uh, in supplication, in petition for for others, that's exactly what we're doing. We'll get more in depth uh, where uh, we'll talk about that priestliness, where 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 intercession is actually priestly, where you're taking uh, the, the 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 sacrifices of others, the difficulties, the hurts of others. And you're taking it into the holy of holies. But we'll talk about the temple right. <laughs> a little more tomorrow. <laughs> um, so, with that said, Heavenly Father, our Abba, our King, our Lord, who is love, we return love to you. Who, where it deserves, we bring it back where it. It should be back to our maker. Stand before you as sinners, unworthy of your grace, but we are ever grateful and appreciative of our life. And Jesus, as you said, our life is that more abundantly. During this time of COVID, we reach and stretch our hands out for those who have lost people, who've lost loved ones and friends and coworkers, we, 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 we want them to feel and be better. We, for those who have lost, uh, lost jobs, we want them to be better. For the fathers who have lost connectivity with their, with their families, with their breakage in relationship, we want that to be 
better. Heavenly Father, you are furthering fathering. Where fatherhood is elevated, families are, are empowered, and communities are transformed by our five core principles, which is H-E-A-R-T, honor, encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. We leave these prayers with you knowing that you will take them and make, make us greater and make us better to no matter what happens in the master's name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, according to your word, amen and amen. Amen. I <laughs> love you. Love you so, too, brother. Until next week, we love you all. And we'll, uh, we'll, until tomorrow, we'll talk to you tomorrow. And remember, give to Furthering Fathering on this Giving Tuesday, www.furtheringfathering.org, and hit the donation button. We love you.